each year, scientists discover more and more exoplanets. Some of them can literally turn our understanding of the universe upside down. For example, before the discovery of exoplanets, most believed that Jupiter is the largest planet in the universe. However, the claim was unpinned after scientists discovered the first exoplanet in 1991. As of now, there are more than 4,000 confirmed exoplanets, and some of them are gigantic. It turns out that there are real giant planets twice or 10 times bigger than Jupiter. Let us look at some huge exoplanets and discover their secrets. In this video, you will learn about a gigantic exoplanet as dazzling and ravishing as fireworks. We'll also talk about an exoplanet that is almost invisible, hidden under a cover of dust. We will do a virtual tour of the planet where rains and rivers are not made of water, but of liquid rubies and sapphires. Giant Exoplanets Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Beta Pictoris is a star located 63 light years from Earth in the southern constellation Pictor. The star is hotter and more luminous than the Sun. The bright white dwarf Beta Pictoris is very young and therefore incredibly hot. It is only 12 million years old. Compare it with the Sun, for example, with its age of 4.6 billion years. The surface of the bright star is heated to 7,783 degrees Celsius, while the temperature of the Sun is 5,505 degrees Celsius. Beta Pictoris can literally blind you, as it shines 8.7 times brighter than the Sun. If the weather is good and the night sky is clear, you can see it with the naked eye. With a good eyesight, you can even observe the famous Beta Pictoris disk made of debris that might contain planets. Astronomers managed to capture images of the Beta Pictoris disk to see that it is warped. Look at one of them. Isn't it fascinating? Do you know that the colorful disk carries danger for our planet despite being so far away? It is believed that Beta Pictoris could send the interstellar meteorites into the solar system. Scientists discovered that the gas composition of the debris surrounding Beta Pictoris is rich in carbon and oxygen. It is similar to the solar system. The study of the disk may provide insight into the formation and early evolution of terrestrial planets. The Beta Pictoris is fascinating since it enables astronomers to observe a planetary system in the process of forming around its star. Let us visit two confirmed planets orbiting in the plane of the debris disk surrounding Beta Pictoris. One of them is the gas giant exoplanet Beta Pictoris b. It belongs to a class of gas giant exoplanets that are inferred to be physically similar to Jupiter. That is why they are called hot Jupiters. Beta Pictoris b's mass is 11 Jupiters, and it has 1.45 larger radius than Jupiter. Despite its huge size, Beta Pictoris b is hard to observe for astronomers. The planet is hiding behind a dense fog of disk. That is why Beta Pictoris b is very dim. It receives 10 times less light from its host star than the Earth does from the Sun. And yet, it was discovered by using the direct imaging technique, using reference star differential imaging on November 18th 2008 by Anne-Marie Lagrange using the NACO instrument on the Very Large Telescope at Cerro Paranal in northern Chile. The discovery image was taken in 2003, but the planet was not detected when the data were first reduced. A re-reduction of the data in 2008 using modern image processing tools revealed the faint point source now known to be a planet. Hopefully, we will discover many surprises about this system in the near future. The mysterious, huge gas planet keeps throwing riddles at scientists. They discovered that the temperature of the exoplanet is about 1,327 degrees Celsius. Some astronomers say that it is impossible. After all, Beta Pictoris b is far from its star and should not heat up like an oven. 
It is located 9.1 AU from its host star. It's like a distance from Saturn to the Sun. Other scientists theorize that the heat on the planet is preserved because of its huge mass and dusty atmosphere. It is already known for sure that Beta Pictoris b is a real super sprinter. If there were Olympic Games for exoplanets in the rotation category, it would win with a result of 8.1 hours. That is the time Beta Pictoris b takes to rotate around its axis. No wonder the day there is three times shorter than on Earth. I want to remind you that our Jupiter, too, would be a runner-up in the race. Its period of rotation around its axis is about 10 hours. When it comes to orbiting around the star, Beta Pictoris b is clearly in no hurry. It takes 21 years to complete one orbit of its star. In this respect, the exoplanet lags behind Jupiter which orbits the Sun in 11.8 Earth years. The second planet in the system is Beta Pictoris c. It is nine times bigger than Jupiter, and its radius is 1.12 times wider. Despite its enormous size and mass, the planet played hide-and-seek with scientists for a long time. The story goes that astronomers did notice some hints of the planet's existence in infrared images in 2003, but they could not confirm it at the time. Only in 2009, they reprocessed the images with new technology and confirmed the existence of Beta Pictoris c. Why is the planet invisible? The answer to the questions is its super close proximity to the star. That is why the bright host star hides the planet in its radiance. The orbital period is 1,200 days, or 3.3 years. What is curious is that the Beta Pictoris c also has high luminosity. It emits six times more light than its neighbor planet. Comparing to Beta Pictoris b, the planet Beta Pictoris c is 3.5 times closer to the host star. However, scientists say that the luminosity of the two planets should be similar, given the small difference in their masses. One of the hypotheses claims that Beta Pictoris c is a teenager planet at the formation stage. If that is the case, then its high temperature that now reaches about 987 degrees Celsius will decrease over time. The star is estimated to be only about 20 million years old, so it's very young. We don't see the planet by reflected light, like we do for our own planets, but instead by its own glow. It is all very cool. Let us make a space travel 850 light years from Earth. It is WASP-121b in the constellation Pupis. It is a huge gas planet. WASP-121b is a hot Jupiter exoplanet with a mass about 1.157 times and a radius about 1.74 times that of Jupiter. It orbits its host star, WASP-121. It is a yellow dwarf, similar to the Sun in mass and radius. However, the surface temperature of WASP-121 is at least a thousand degrees hotter than the Sun. The exoplanet is located, one might say, in the hot spot. It moves literally side by side with its luminary. A year on the exoplanet lasts only 1.3 days, as WASP-121b circles its host star in just 30 hours. That is 68 times faster than Mercury orbits the Sun. Because it is very close to the star, WASP-121b heats up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. However, it is an average statistic. To be more exact, we should mention that one hemisphere heats up to 3,000 degrees Celsius, while the other one is 1,000 degrees Celsius. Gravitational forces of the nearby star lock the planet. It does not rotate around its axis. That is why one hemisphere has an endless day, the other a perpetual night. As a result, the daytime hemisphere suffers from roasting heat while the night side is freezing. It sounds fantastic, 
but scientists found water on WASP-121b. Later, astronomers from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy measured its atmospheric nightside conditions by using the Hubble telescope. They discovered the presence of water and its amazing properties. They revealed that water circulation on WASP-121b has a completely different and weird cycle compared to the Earth. At about 3,000 degrees Celsius on the day side, the water begins to glow and many of the molecules even break down into their atomic components. The extreme temperature difference between hemispheres gives rise to strong winds that sweep around the entire planet from west to east, dragging the water molecules along. Eventually, they reach the night side. The lower temperatures allow the hydrogen and oxygen atoms to recombine, forming water vapor again before being blown back around to the day side as the cycle repeats. Temperatures on the planet never drop low enough for water clouds to form throughout the cycle, let alone rain. This planet never sees water precipitations. According to scientists, instead of water drops, it would rain rubies and sapphires there. Sounds like a fairy tale, right? Stretch your hand and catch a precious stone. In fact, it does not look like that at all. Clouds on WASP-121b mainly consist of metal particles of molten iron, magnesium, chromium, and vanadium. Temperature on the cold hemisphere allows particles to condense into the clouds and fall down in the form of rain. Aluminum and titanium were not detected in the atmosphere of WASP-121b. Scientists suggest that these metals condense and fall out in deeper layers of the atmosphere that are inaccessible to observation. There is no such rain in our solar system. As we know, aluminum condenses with oxygen to form the compound corundum. With impurities of chromium, iron, titanium or vanadium, we know it as ruby or sapphire. It means that the dark hemisphere of WASP-121b can be filled with gemstones in liquid form. Liquid gems could therefore be raining on the nightside hemisphere of WASP-121b. Perhaps scientists will confirm the hypothesis of ruby and sapphire showers with the James Webb Next Generation Telescope in the future. We live in an age of miracles and wonders. Until recently, we weren't even really sure how our own solar system was formed. But now we can actually watch it happen around other stars. It is science. Do you want to learn more about stars, planets, and pulsars? Write to us in the comments. Press like if you like the video. If you want to be updated on new videos, subscribe to our channel. More videos about space, stars, and planets are coming soon. Prepare for more interesting stories about mysteries of the universe.